on home sync and the creation of your personal cloud. The cloud is perfect for sharing your photos, videos and documents, but most of the internet cloud-based services are limited and we wanted to expand them and make it even easier to share content with your family and loved ones. We also saw an opportunity to bundle a private cloud with an intelligent home entertainment system while giving the users all the benefits of the Android experience, letting them access Samsung apps and the Play Store. Now, we know that there are a lot of home network storage devices on the market already, as well as media players, but there's nothing that combines both with a personal cloud, which also gives you remote viewing capabilities in your home. And this is the genesis of HomeSync. It's an end-to-end -end solution, it's private and secure, and it's your own personal cloud that you maintain in your own home. The basis of any cloud concept that you'll find online is a bank of service located somewhere in the world. It can be anywhere and you can access it anywhere, which sounds great, but it isn't yours. HomeSync is a new cloud concept that lets you share and store without that server. And in fact, the concept couldn't be simpler and more powerful than that. This little device that you set up in your own home has a one terabyte internal hard drive which gives you plenty of storage capacity for you and your family. One terabyte and it's so easy to upload and download content. It's so easy to share with multiple users and it's so easy to connect all the various devices that you have in your home. Some cloud services offer you 50 gigs for free, which is great, but you'll find that you run out of that very quickly and what's left is a paid solution that you just keep on paying for. With a terabyte, you'll be set for a long, long time. It's really easy to set up. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone that you want to connect with your home sync. You start by quickly downloading the HomeSync app that just takes a moment or two and then by using the NFC tag you pair the device. It's as easy as that. And from the app you can control your whole cloud and you will have all the power and support that you'd expect from a Samsung device. It is driven by a very powerful dual core processor with one gigabyte of RAM and it supports all of your standard peripherals like HDMI, Wi-Fi, USB 3.0 and optical audio. This is your personal cloud and you just share it with the people you want on the devices you want. And there's even enough space for the largest family and it's so easy to share content with family and friends that are far away. Just a few moments ago, I mentioned the Media Center. The Home Sync will run on the latest version of Android and can be used as a media player. So if you connect your Home Sync to your TV via HDMI, you can access the Samsung Hub, Google Play Store, and you can enjoy all this amazing content that is out there. It's a true Android experience, which also makes it very easy to control and navigate. Once you pair your Galaxy device, you have several different options to do so. For example, you can use the remote mouse feature from your smartphone, which uses a 6 axis sensor, or you can use the QWERTY keyboard on your device, or you can even use the touch screen on your device as if it was a touchpad on a notebook computer. It's also very easy to show up your smartphone content on TV. This is called mirroring and it works seamlessly with home sync. You don't even need a separate dongle to make the connection. And using this feature, you can beam photos and videos onto the big screen with ease. And it's so easy to share all of your content. So you see, this is a very promising and interesting solution. And we hope that you're really gonna take your time to find out more about it here in 